A recent report by the New York Times highlights a pretty shocking new practice used by state governments to force students to repay student loans, make it impossible them for them to work otherwise. In 19 U.S. states, authorities have the power to suspend professional licenses, like nursing licenses, if a borrower goes into default on a student loan. In the state of South Dakota, borrowers can lose their driver's license, making it basically impossible to get to work in the first place. Brian Brenberg is an associate professor of business and economics at the King's College in New York, and he joins us tonight. Brian, thanks for coming on. Good to be here. I'm a little shocked by this. I mean, is there any other, just to set the baseline, is there any other kind of loan, if I'm late on my mortgage or my credit card, can they make it illegal for me to do my job or take my driver's license away? And no, and I think because people would find this completely shocking. I mean, the idea that the way you're going to deal with people who can't pay their bills is to take away their job, it sounds nonsensical on its face, and it absolutely is. It's a classic case of the government creating a problem and then piling more policy on top that only makes the problem worse. And student loans, I know you're a college professor, I don't want to beat up on, but colleges are the richest institutions in American life, drive through any state, and these little pockets of affluence are colleges. And yet those colleges are bankrupting an entire generation of young people who can't buy cars or get married or buy homes because of their student loans. And now they can't work or drive. Like, who is in charge of this? Well, we have been shoveling billions of dollars at colleges and universities to push students into educational programs that don't give them any place in the marketplace. They can't get a job. And so they go out into the marketplace. They can't find a job. They maybe finally find something that allows them to pay their bills. But because they're behind on their student loans, the state says, you you can't do this job anymore. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. The one thing we want young people to do in this country is to get a job, to work, get out in the marketplace. Anything that keeps them out of that is going to be counterproductive. So, but I mean, a lot of these lenders, too, are obviously getting rich. I've met some of them, yeah. really rich. So, but how did they get it into the law that if their loans don't get repaid, as distinct from all the other loans people have, there's a legal punishment because the state guarantees the state will either guarantee or subsidize these loans so the state has an interest in it and when they don't get paid back they look for a way to deal with that and you, you can do that by putting a lien on people's property you can do that by garnishing wages but they came up with this idea that they're going to keep people from working and again the reason that exists is because in this country so many people have to get a license to do their job so you've got right. government pushing people into educations that don't help them and then they've got on the other end government approving the work they can do and taking away that approval when the person's in dire straits financially. And it's destroying a generation. When you look at the polling of young people and they support socialism over capitalism and you're wondering why are young people so mad and so crazy Student loans are driving a lot of that. Absolutely. It, it, absolutely the case. But look, there's a lot of young people who are saying, well, we should get the government more involved in student loans. We should get the government more involved in the economy. This is what happens when you do that. The right and the left hand of government don't pay attention to each other. You end up pushing people in education that they can't use. Then you say they can't do the job that they've actually found. If you want more government in those spheres, this is what you're going to get. How long till debtor's prisons come back? Well, I, I think we're talking about debtor prison right yeah. now, Tucker. It's just a different name. It sounds that way.